Afternoon everyone, um, so it's Sunday, uh, seventh day of lockdown, and we are gonna have some toad in the hole for our dinner. Uh, we're gonna have that with mash and mixed veg. I'm not gonna talk you through making mashed potato, but I'm just gonna talk you through uh, making toad in the hole. So here we have some Cumberland sausages. One, two, three, four, five. To start, we we're gonna get these. Sausages. I've oiled the, the dish. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 200 degrees for about six minutes to start, just to get the sausages cooking. So I'm gonna do that now. Say hi, Charlie. Hi. Look at the hair. Crazy Sunday hair. <laughs> and then um, the easy measurements for this. Um, so I've got a quarter of a cup of plain flour, a quarter of a cup yeah. of self-raising flour. So that's half a cup in total. So this is enough to make for about four people. So I've got half a cup of milk. Just gonna whisk that into the flour. I'm gonna get that nice and smooth. It's easier to add the milk to the flour and then the eggs after, because obviously eggs are a thicker consistency. So we've got that. And then to this, it's the equivalent of about three eggs. No, Charlie. Uh, I don't want to get a shell in it, mate. So if you just pass me the eggs. So there's one. I think I could probably do it with my There's two. Egg. 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 Yes, yes egg. egg. And there's Charlie. three. And there's three. Ooh. And now again. you won't need any more egg. Can I'm going to whisk that in. So we're just going to whisk on that until it gets really thick. So once our sausages had about five minutes in the oven, we're literally just going to pour this batter over the sausages and then leave that to cook in the oven for a bit. Get ready. Yeah. Yeah. So sausages have had five or six minutes just to start to get the colour in and um, obviously the pan's nice and hot, which is what you're after. Just wanna make sure your sausages are separated by a little distance. And we're literally gonna drop that batter mix. You can hear the sizzle, that's what we wanna hear. That's much hot. Right, this is gonna go, it's imperative. This goes on the bottom shelf of your oven and you now turn the oven down to 180 degrees. So, you give it a time to obviously for the, the Yorkshire pudding batter to cook and rise before it browns. So I'm going to turn my oven down. And also, I'm going to just stick this on a baking tray as well. So if you do get any seepage, it doesn't go all over the bottom of the oven and create hella smoke. So that's going to go back in now for about 20 minutes and again we'll see you on the other side. And there we go, it's been 20 minutes and there we have toad in the hole. The toads aren't quite in the hole but they will sink back down as the batter settles. And it's that simple really, so don't be put off, give it a bash and uh, get your pictures up in the group. And um, if you do decide to follow this, hope you enjoy.